Welcome back everybody here on Just a Zack where it's my mission to show you guys a hopefully interesting video game almost every day. Today we are going to have a look at Creeping Deck Pharaoh's Curse which is a Slay the Spire like with an Egyptian theme to put it simply. That's at least what I gathered from having had a look at the description, the screenshots and so on. So a card building, deck building, roguelike um, kind of game where we might also get some meta progression in this games if I got that right. Also, you can see I'm already an expert. We're going to have a look at the official demo. I already played minus 1.566667 hours and I unlocked stuff. Um, I guess this is just a hint that this is an early demo. Funnily enough, besides the demo and the official Steam page link, as always down in the description, there's also a prologue version of this. I have no idea how the prologue from the Creeping Deck differentiates itself from the demo of Creeping Deck. I would argue or I would take the risk and say they are probably the same, just, you know, different ways for marketing on Steam and so on. But there might be a difference. I don't know. Let's actually see what happens. Wait, first of options. Options menu is always the most important. Okay. Uh, basic, but sure, fine. Resolutions, volume. I like to have a few volume sliders. Seems fine so far. Let's actually hit continue and see what happens. I have no idea. I did never play this game before. Village home. All right, minus <laughs> one point five six. Let's actually. Uh, all right, let's buy with this. I don't know. Sure, um, we're going to have a look at the official demo. If this is what the demo offer says, we're going to go with this. Welcome to the village. You can buy new artifacts, potions, manage your character, and more. Then, when you're ready, get into the dungeon. Your objective: defeat the final boss in the dungeon. Good luck. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the, that means there's absolutely no story, which is a minus for me. I like to have at least some kind of story. There's this ancient Egyptian god who's about to be revived, and you have to go stop it in there. Uh, go uh, and stop it, or you want some secret ancient artifact, so go and try to collect it. Something. Give, give me something, please. These are the different resources, golds, unlock artifacts. Blue Essence uh, unlocks definitive improvements in the God's, God's Lair, interesting, and Res Essence uh, unlock new skills in the training ground. Okay, uh, if it's just like that, that's fine. Home, God's Lair, fight one group of monsters to unlock, Cleopatra's Crest, interesting, fight nine group. That seems actually a little bit mobile-like, a bunch of resources already, so many tabs with different things. Um, oh, clearly we're playing this on PC and I hope this is just like a just an impression right so i guess why not have a bunch of choice fighting master maybe like a tutorial skills are actions you can use in game they are generally used one time per turn in a fight unlock them here to have a random selection in the dungeon draw a card gain eight blood deal six damage to a random enemy okay we also seem to have okay training ground the different skills can be unlocked as well so yeah with the different amounts a little bit mobile but i mean also roguelike uh, or roguelite-esque with all these um, meta progressions. So sure, market. Market. Oh, I like this sprite, by the way. Very beautiful done. Eat new food to improve your definitive stats. Oh, there's a point missing here. Current stats, skill usage per turn. Okay, well, we don't eat new food. Okay, is the essence the new food? I don't know, but we would upgrade those with the essence. Quite a few things. Cards in first turn, hand upgrade 4 to 5 and so on. Well, we don't have any yet. Makes sense. Adventure. Choose your pyramid adventure. Every pyramid brings new monsters, bosses and rules. Seth is probably in one of those. Okay, so there seems to be an underlying story. There's a hint here that we are apparently out there to look for Seth. Alright. Home? Well, I mean, with my clear experience here. <laughs> Run amount 1, current level 1. Well, with this glorious experience, let's go and go into the one dungeon, Kyrps. Defeat the Armored Beetle. <coughs> that probably gives us 50 essence, 80 red essence, health times 1, effects times 1, monsters, mummy, crow, ureus, and a disciple, and there's a commentar, so probably more. Variations default, and more commentar. Okay, fair. I mean, just wait a second, market, so... Oh, 80 red, 80 red essence is nothing. Okay, the game expects us to do multiple run. Fair enough. Let's launch and let's see. One out of three. 
Like the first stage, I suppose. Deck building time. All right, now's the time to start your uh, run. First, choose one skill among those. Heal, heal to HP, or shield, gain eight block. And this is our starting deck. We have a spear attack. Ooh, nice art style. Even though I'm a little bit sad that those aren't colored, but maybe they're not colored here. But look at the detail on those. Oh man, I want them to be colored. So we have full armor, gain eight block, and spear, deal six damage to enemy. Uh, you can also decide to just go full random and play. It will automatically fill the needed steps. I mean, yeah, let's go full block. 16, sounds good, maybe good. Heal is always good, but I mean, if we have enough block, we don't need to heal, right? That's my logic going here. Shield, confirm selection, sure. Artifact, the fate will now decide of your starting artifact. Oh, there's a griffin core. Oh, let's launch my fate! Dim, 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 oh. Quite a few selection, cool. At the beginning of your turn, one random card in your hand costs one less. That seems very cool. Yeah, thank you. Also, pick a grand total of nine cards to add to your two base cards on the right. I like this, that we can build our... This is already a nice change of flavor in this um, kind of game style. Also, I like how there's a little bit of a blur effect here in the background. Very moody. Yeah, that you can customize your starting deck. Already before the run. I like that. Enemy gets four more poison. Target loses four HP at the beginning of its turn. Damage diminished if you have shield. Poison vial. Enemy gets four more poison. So this is not quite clear. This attack, the poison vial. Because this states enemy gets four more poison. That kind of implicates to me that the enemy already needs to have poison before the poison vial actually works. Or is it just in general? Like, if the enemy doesn't have poison, I can still apply for poison. I think it's meant that even if the enemy doesn't have poison, that I'm gonna apply for poison. But I, uh, the hint isn't quite clear. Uh, mighty attack, deal five damage to all enemies. Nice. Oh, this is, these are colored now. Nice. I wow, really like this art style. Can I block? Yeah, let's go with poison. Yeah, I like poison. Oh, pick one new card. More block? I mean, we have the skill, right? Uh, no cuts are to your two base cards on the right. Okay, always the selection two. Full armor. Do we want to go full on block? I mean, maybe we, maybe that's the way to go. Like, with a little bit of a defensive build. You know, we are going to armor up, and then let's just poison do everything else. But Mighty Attack is technically better than Spear Attack, while Full Armor is as good as Full Armor. Ah, variation. Let's go with Mighty Attack. Variation. Pick a grand total of nine cards. Okay. Ooh. Apparently different rarities. I mean, this is yellow. Gain six block fades. And when played, this card goes into the fades collection and you won't draw it again. Aha. Makes sense. Also, again, cool art style. It costs zero. That's why. Oh, common rare. It actually tells you. Nice. Guard set. Create one random defense in your hand. To draw a card. Ooh. So it's one mana gain two, so to speak. I like this. Or a blurry memories. One random card in your hand costs three less during this turn. Oh, I mean, we have only not that many high cost cards, but let's go with that. That sounds the most interesting. Oh, yeah, sure, this too. Let's go. Ooh, Dreaming of Ra. Create one random attack in your hand, gain one action. Oh, yeah, definitely. Attack and roll. Deal six damage to a random enemy and gain four block. Gain five block. Upgrade one random card in. Ooh, an upgrade. I want to see what an upgrade is. What does that do? Gain 8 block is our skill at the uh, beginning of your turn. One random card in your hand costs one less. Okay, cool. I like this. Cool startup so far. Okay, let's start the run. Oh, is this already where we can choose to go? Oh, confirm? No, I don't want to confirm. I don't want to com confirm! Oops. Okay, yeah, this is the starting selection. I can't... Oh, I can't scroll up. Okay. Typical map. Okay, fair. Would be nice, maybe like, up, overall, this is already a nice looking screen, but a little bit more flavor. And just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And this is just an old papyrus, kind of works. This is the boss, defeat him to gain blue and red essence. Like the animation here on this guy. Okay, so I accidentally already choose where my starting position. That's fine. We gained some gold. Well, let's do a battle then. Loading. Okay, nothing when I click the thing. Player's turn. Mature player gets six more poison. Poison unit loses damage at the beginning of the... I think this is the intention of the enemy, right? 
Uh, shield, player skill, gain one block. This is my ability and the end turn. We have three. Good to know. Mighty tech cost zero because we have this. At the beginning of your turn. Oh man, this sounds so good. Deal five damage. I mean, this is free, right? Yeah, let's do this. Free stuff. I like free stuff. I'm gonna click it. Um, deal six damage. I can't drag and drop, unfortunately. I, as a player, I actually like dragging and dropping yet cards. A little bit sad that this is not implemented yet. I can just click it and then do my selection. But, I mean, it's just a flavor thing. Uh, more like a quality of life thing. Okay, deal six damage. I can actually tell. Look at the art here. It's so, these sprites are so detailed. Look at the armor. armor. This is beautiful. Okay, two left. I'm gonna poison you. Don't need this right now. I'm, I'm going to activate my shield ability to gain eight block. This should also work against the poison, right? And he's poisoned too, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, the cards, even though it says it deals more poison, it's still um, same here. It's going to apply poison, so to speak. So, a little bit of wording there. And the turn. Okay, let's see. Can we block this? Um. Huh. Against five block. I block the poison. Okay, good to know. Target loses 5 HP at the beginning of the turn. Damage diminished if you have shield. Kind of weird that poison somehow gets blocked by shield. Mechanically, clear and nice. But maybe, like, make this a burn effect or something else. I don't know. I mean, poison applies to me. It's already my body. Why would a block help? But, I mean, now, now I'm nitpicking. Now I'm actually nitpicking. <laughs> Mechanically, this is very sound. I like this. Okay, he's gonna get 5 block. But we should be able to get rid of him, right? Run defense, get one of it uh, in your hand, gain one action. Yeah, please. So, four, nice, defensive. Deal two times zero damage to enemy scales with amount of block active. <laughs> oh, you are in for a treat, my friend. Gain five block, upgrade one random card. Yeah, I want to see what that does. Foresight. Deal, oh, okay, this has been upgraded now. Defensive strike plus two, or plus plus. Deal two times five damage to enemy. No, is this upgraded? I think this was maybe upgraded. Did this cost three before as well? I mean, it's golden, I think. Yeah, I did upgrade this. What to change? I should have paid a bit more attention. So this should already be enough, right? But, um, gain it block. Gain shield. Oh, I don't have the energy. Deal two times five damage to enemy scales with amount of block active. Uh, does it not scale? Two times five damage? It was five at the beginning. Also, I'm an idiot. Um, this costs more now. I could have won this round. Um, too much block. Okay, more poison. <laughs> okay, I was... Uh, okay, that's on me. Didn't pay attention. I did not pay attention to some block. I have so much block, whatever he does, doesn't matter. Player gets one more weakness. Unit deals less damage to their opponent. Yeah, I feel like gets one more. It should just um, stay like applies, you know? Player or this... Why also player? I feel like this is the unit outgoing to my character. So Also not the player. I'm the player. I'm Dustin. Hi, nice to meet you guys. This is my character. So, again, this is just nitpicky. But I feel like this should be like a character. Uh, apply one weakness to the player or something. Or just apply one weakness. That's already clear. But why me? Why Why do I, why do I get weakness? I'm just playing the game. <laughs> again, absolutely nitpicking what I'm doing here. Okay, spear attack, whatever. Just, there we go. Oh, also there, animation. We did a spear attack, but this was a claw animation. A uh, little thing, but I I have the eyes of an eagle. I have the eyes of a fallen, mummified pharaoh. I see everything. Oh, yeah. I see everything. Version point zero point three point eight. Well, I mean, clearly I'm an expect. I already played minus 1.566667 hours. Mighty Dark! There we go. Cool. Okay, you won. You gain currencies and experience. You can only win one level per fight. Okay, so we also gained a level. You won. You gained currency. Oh, this is the level. Got it. You played three turns. Okay, so this is also XP by the different things we did. Good. Choose one new card. All right, cool. Add one card to your deck. Blurry memories. Cool, but I need more high cost cards for this. Convert and remove all your modifiers into block. Draw one card. Epic. The question is modifiers does what does that include does it for example exclude when i apply poison to an enemy attack and roll is actually very solid six damage gain for block okay let's get this it's epic 
I'm not sure if this is the technically best choice right now, but, you know, let's see what this card does. Of course, I want to showcase to you guys all the possibilities, right? So, there's some food resting, maybe? What is the snake and dice? Oh, an event, maybe? God's Lair, common. Nice, it would be nice if the atmosphere would change a bit with the event, but, yeah, again, the art style, beautiful. Look at this. You see some light at the end of a tunnel. A wonderful shrine is welcoming you. It has a magnificent glow that draws your eyes to it. You notice two different rooms. Each seems to be hard to reach. Oh, we can just choose to gain essence. Um, I don't know. 100 essence, yeah. There's a dot missing here. This is an important one on my channel. Resume adventure. Okay, cool. Another event. Yes, I like this. Ooh, friendly ghost. Yeah, again, look at this. Cool. Kind of hoping right now that this is not like AI art or something. Because <laughs> this is so detailed. That's amazing. That's actually... How many fingers does this one have? One, two, three, four, five. That's usually where you can see like... <laughs> AR art because this is so detailed. I really hope they hired like uh, this must have been hired like you know and done by an amazing artist. I hope so. Uh, and I think smoke. You can see the gloomy red eyes of a ghost. It appeared menacing at first. Oh, T is missing here. But you realize it's friendly. The ghost is offering you something. Maybe it's AR art because I mean the wings look a bit weird. I don't know how many claws. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see in the background. Is that even possible? It's so detailed. I don't know. I don't. I don't trust anything anymore. I mean, clearly my voice is also AI. <laughs> so if I would do a recording right now. Uh, touch the right hand, upgrade two cards. Touch the left hand, gain an artifact. Oh! Artifacts are pretty powerful, but upgrading my cards also pretty good. Uh, artifact, artifact, up card, artifact, artifact. The left hand had a shiny golden artifact. Okay, what do we gain? Ooh, we have the Ozero's Razor and the Cat Trinket. When you use your skill, gain 5 block. So our skills are already 13 block. Okay, cool. This scales very well. Another combat, let's go. I'm ready. Loading. Ooh, look at these snakes. And look at this mummy. The 5 damage to play. Why me? And gain 6 block. Okay, gain 8 block. So, 6, 5 damage. Would be maybe nice to see it here, but okay, we know 5 damage is coming in. Uh, did it create one random attack in your head? Gain one action. Yeah, let's go. Defense left strike. It's scan this. Okay, let's not make the same mistake as before. I'm going to just play it safe. Shield. This should give me a 13 block. It does. Cool. And defense this. Two times 13. Yeah, so there was a mistake early on then when we upgraded the card. Because even though I had like 21 block, it only uh, showed deal t uh, two times five. So there was a little bit of bug there. Again, early demo. It's fine. Uh, 2 times 13. That is enough to destroy the snake lady here, which has a nice personality. Let's go. Bam. Nice. 13, 13. Again, animations would be nice if those were a bit juicier. I love the background. The art style is very good. And turn. Enemies turn. Okay. <laughs> I block this. <laughs> okay, just 5 damage again with your tiny Kuvjak. Oh, this sword has a typical name. I don't know. Something with K. K? I don't know. Not gonna try, I guess. Uh, gain five block, upgrade a random card, sure. How do we upgrade? Blurry memories. Two random cards in your hand cost three less this turn. I mean, why not? Haha! <laughs> Everything is free! And it didn't work. Why does this cost one? <laughs> no! Don't tell me that this time essentially twice got reduced by minus three. That's not... Let, don't tell me that this is how the card works. Let's hope it's a bug. That feels so not good. First off, poison. I have to block now. Two random cards in your hand. I mean, sure, it's just two random. It doesn't say two different random cards, but... who? okay. I guess that's something to keep in mind then. And turn. Okay, block. Easy. Fair, we got this. Teal tech damage, are you kidding me? This makes this card actually surprisingly worse. And create a random card. Defense in your hand. Draw a card. Yeah. There we go. Two more cards. Spear attack. Six. I want to play this because it costs zero. Oh. No. It's only for this turn. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure last turn the poison ball got hit twice. Okay. Gain it block. Uh, do I need this? I don't. Well, it costs zero. Whatever I played. 
Um, deal six damage, create one random hand, uh, draw a card. Maybe I want to do this. We still have one energy, but I don't have anything that gives me block and stuff, right? But what's in the box? What's in the box? I have to see, sorry. Foresight. Gain five block, upgrade one random card in your hand. I think I want to have the upgrade, yeah. We can survive the damage and we have the upgrade. And the upgrades are permanent, at least for this combat, which are pretty nice. So if I redraw the card, the upgrade is still there. Dreaming for create one random um, attack in your hand, gain one action, yeah. Okay, D6 damage. I really need more damage, actually. Look at all this. Convert and remove all your modifiers into block draw card. So that's the question. What does what is a modifier? For example, the, technically the poison on this enemy is my modifier that I apply. That is my question. So if I play Visions of Cleopatra, do I now get six armor? I have to try this out. Magic! No, plus zero. Okay, that's not how it works. Fair enough. Um, how does it work then? Modifiers. Uh, create a um, defense card. Gain for block. Upgrade a card. Take a roll. Deal two times four damage. Oh, oh two random enemy and gain eight block. Very good. Okay, got set. Um, self gets five more power. I guess this sounds uh, cl um, classifies as a, like a modifier. Do I need to do anything here? One mana, shield, whatever, end the turn. 26 armor. Enemy's turn, there we go. Self gets five more power, deal nine damage. And I like this, kinda telling us that it's about to lose, I guess, power? No, it's powered. Spear attack, though, till then, damage, there we go, easy. Did it! Okay, first combats. To teach you the mechanics, I like this. You gained a new level. Oh, also 95 red as Okay, we even get these meta progression upgrades during level ups in the combat. It really feels a lot like a mobile game. Just saying. So far, I'm having fun, but these mechanics gain two action fades. Purse of Jewels, oh, pretty good. Gain 25 block. I don't think we need that. Is this also different rarity? Like epic? Was Why did this, doesn't it tell us here, right? Or is this just that I can... Oh, I guess maybe these cards I can choose one. It's probably more... Random everyone gets... Random everyone gets two more power. What is a random everyone? Yeah, okay. These are just cards that can appear now, I guess, because of my level up. Never mind. Okay, we gain some essence. Okay. Uh, choose a new card. Now we can choose epic. Yeah, Wizards of Cleopatra. Not too happy with that right now. Blurry memories. We have one that's enough. Defensive strike. Deal two times Y damage. Wait a second. Wasn't it before deal two times X damage to enemy? Defensive strike. You and me, we, we, we have something going on here. Not sure if I can trust you. Add to deck. Okay, back to the map. Okay. We have quite a variety of cards at least. Let's go. Another combat. Ooh, a treasure. Also, again, very detailed box. I really like this. Beautiful. I'm gonna push the red button. Oh, I'm gonna push it again. Push. Okay, let's break it. Oh, no sound, but... Oh, what? Chest. Chest are full of items, cards, artifacts, and potions. All right, there we go. Add one card to your deck. Gain... Uh, deal six damage to enemy. Play gets three more power. Your attacks are improved by three. Gain five block. Oh, I, f I really like foresight, by the way. Upgrading and a little bit of block. But Potion of Rage, or oh, again, beautiful art here. Your attacks are improved by three. Yeah, let's get this. This oh, Add one card to your deck. Oh, does it mean I can take one out? Add to deck. Um, sorry. Oh, wait, I selected Foresight accidentally. Now I have to select Potion of Rage. Why does it... Why do I have to manually do it this time? Didn't I do it the same before? I'm confused. Add to deck, whatever. And we have um, some gold, sure. 89 volt essence. Nice. Oh, we actually did gain quite a lot. Never mind. So look at all these resources. We can buy a bunch. So never mind. I thought early on we would only get like so little, but looks fine. Okay. Also, what is this? Uh, resting. Let's go. Okay. We could gain jewels. Locked. Unlock this. Um, unlock this is the god's lair in the village. Okay. Phrasing. Forge. Uh, unlock this is the god's lair in the village. <laughs> Uh, phrasing. Rest. Rest for a while to gain HP. Card gain. Gain a new card to add to your deck. Common rest. I would actually like if, you know, I'm at full life, if we could, could gain the ability to, to actually remove a card. Haven't seen that so far in the game. Gain two. Eight block. Draw two cards. Chain of protection. Deal six damage. Deal six damage um, to a random enemy. Gain four block. Attack and roll. Oh, man. Hard to say. Rare. 
Gain 8 block, draw 2 cards. I mean, card draw really isn't our issue. So attack and roll, maybe. I don't know. I have to choose one. This is actually the lesser, lesser evil so far. Okay, one more uh, fight, and then we're gonna see each other in the boss fight. Also, this guy is a mummy, uh, or a zombie, and this one cannot get poisoned. At least not for three times or something. Interesting. Oh, now I actually have to try. So I used my potion of rage, and it also seems to go like if you have power increase. Then I think it used to increase my power by three, right? It'd actually be nice if you, um, like in other games, if you click on your discard deck or your normal deck that you can see what's actually inside. Not just the names, but the cards itself and what they do. Because I thought the Potion of Rage gave me three power. And I used that and now one is gone. So it only seems to last from turn to turn. So I guess this is a modifier? Convert and remove all your modifiers in the block. I want to try this out. Yeah, okay, that's... Wow, <laughs> we can't do armor, but okay. Finally, I found out what a, uh, what is meant by a modifier, at least. Okay, we have to win this. Just one zombie. Easy. There we go. Also, we're at floor 10 out of 12, so... Does it mean there's two more stages to come? Also, I'd say I would guess this entire thing was one floor, but I don't know. Oh, we didn't find any potions, by the way. So I'm just nitpicking. I'm just saying things. There's the boss. Let's go at 10, 12. Sure. Let's hit this thing. Maybe there's secrets here, like a hidden thing or so. Play gets three more weakness. Oh, no. Finally, boss time. Unit steals less damage to their opponent. So it would be three less, I guess. It's fine. We have a lot of poison going on. I can't block this, right? Oh, this is... Okay, this is why Vision of Cleopatra is good. Because... It turns also your D-Bus into armor. I start to understand. Got it. Okay, um, three times four damage to enemy. Yeah, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, that needs to be juicer. Um, poison wall, five to you. I mean, I don't need to block poison wall. So let's get in some damage here. <laughs> Weakness. I don't care, you're poison. Oh, what? Weakness? <laughs> There's a sheep. <laughs> sure. Targets attack are divided by two. Ooh, so only half, that's fine. Sense of time. Reduce skill cost by one. Minimum cost one, gain one skill usage. I don't 100% understand this. I took it anyway, so I'm gonna activate this. So I guess my skills like this cost one. Oh, and I have an extra usage, so I can't technically use this two times in a turn or something. 20 block, wow. Uh, Potion of Rage, sure. I gotta use my things so, right, to deal three damage to random enemy, gain four. So there's also gonna be skills later on that could cost more than one, I understand. Block, well, we don't need the shield yet. Yeah, let's keep this. We are powered sheep, or something like that. 20 block, it's eight more poison, that's fine. We will be able to block this. Could already use Vision of Cleopatra, but maybe we draw it in the next turns and use it on... Hmm, three damage, halved. Foresight. So I can't block the poison. Oh, I uh, kind of. Uh, draw a card, deal three to enemy. Uh, block. Well, I definitely want to upgrade a card. That's never too bad, right? And draw two cards. But uh, then I'm not going to be able to play anything. Get a random defense in your hand, draw a card. I think I want to draw a card. This is zero for now. Okay, yeah. I want to deal damage right now. But I also want to... I mean, this is the boss, right? I'm not sure how much more. It's floor 11. There seems to be more coming. So I'm going to poison you up to six poison. And I'm just going to shield just to be safe. Oh, my extra uses of the skill disappeared. So it only lasted for one round. That is a little bit disappointing. I thought I could use it that was permanent or something. Okay, only for that turn. Okay, then sense of time is not that useful to, for us, but... Probably for other skills. So we're gonna block this. It's gonna get down. 35 damage to play. Now we need a lot of block. Now I could have used this extra usage. Screw you, game. Um, <laughs> create one random defense in your hand. Draw a card. Yes, zero. Dreaming of Ra. Run random attack in your hand. Gain one action. Yes, please. Deal two extra. So I am definitely going to use shields to get as much block done as possible. Deal 2 times 6. Ah, now the freaking weakness is bad. We still have the Potion of Rage. Oh, now we can't pay this because it's 3. That's a mistake. Ah, uh, what did I do? Random. Okay, defense card. I should have done this, actually. Yeah, Vision of Lobo draw would have been nice. I made an oopsie there. I should have kept that. Vigor. Uh, gained 5 HP. 
Um, gain one action during your next turn. I'm not healing doesn't help us, but more actions next turn. Ah! Should have gained the vision of Cleopatra first. Well, it's fine. First time we take some damage. Quite a bit, actually. Vigor. Okay, we still get an extra action. You're gonna block for 20. That's fine. Oh, poison too, I've got. Oh, yeah. Vision of Cleopatra. Can I need you right now? Do I have anything to... Nope, nothing. This costs zero, so I'm gonna do this. We have four mana, so might as well shield, more poison, more poison, nine damage and block. So at least we're gonna be able to block the poison coming in. He takes 12 and then the block. Got it. Okay. So we just need to deal 28 damage or something. Three times six. Is this enough? Because I think the poison is going to apply to our enemy first, right? First of foresight to upgrade a card for free. Zero deal nine damage to all enemies. Piercing damage. Oh yeah, mighty tag. We won. Didn't see that it was piercing. Cool. All right, but seems like there's one more floor, right? Because we just did 11 out of 12. No, and the run. What did I miss? I didn't miss anything. The boss is defeated. You have earned 50 blue essence and 80 red essence. What now? You've defeated the boss. You can still play and unlock new stuff, but that's roughly the end of this alpha version. If you like playing it, please add it as a wish list on Steam. New temple, make a make car. So there would be more. New run. Can I click this? I can. So there's different maps coming up. Congratulations, God's Lair. You've unlocked the God's Lair. You can now definitive unlock in the game. Uh, okay, unlock definitives or something. Visit at the top. Yeah, sure, that's new. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, <laughs> work in progress. Unlock Cleopatra's quest to gain currencies in exchange of quest. Uh, I wonder if you can actually do this, unlock this with some values in the demo, but yeah, it's kind of meant to be blocked here, I guess. Work in progress. You gain currencies at the end of a fight. Nice. You can unlock more artifacts. Okay, you can actually gain the stuff and you can have a lot of stuff here. At the end of a fight, you have a chance to gain a free artifact. Oh, that's so good. The question is, how big is the chance to unlock? Okay, we don't know. At the end of the fight, you have a friend to gain free card removal. Okay, so th I guess the first level is literally just going to be very easy. I like that this is overlapping here. And yeah, the later levels are going to be way more difficult. Unlocks best. Wait, is this actually available? Unlocks blasphemy mode. Clipper Trust Quest. Still a work in progress. We could buy skills. Well, gold is apparently very hard to get by. Still feels like this might maybe is intended to come out on mobile devices and then these currencies are very harder to get or something. A skill usually is one per turn, upgrade to one to two. Okay, that can be permanent. More cards. Card drawn per turn. Also, I mean, card draw is always good. Gives you more options, right? Max cards in hand. Shield per turn upgrades from zero to two. So we always start with a certain amount. Maximum upgrade. Oh, wow. I mean, usually... I don't know, maximum potion slots, like this. Okay, well, just wanna have a quick look. Is this available? Defeat the fallen bird, this looks cool. Blue essence, red essence, health 1.5, effects. So yeah, enemies and the effects um, they do are more and harder now, 50% stronger. I'm just gonna ship, skip and pick no skills, yeah. Finish run setup, just do this randomly, I just wanna see. If we start with the combat now, everything is probably evil. 22. I mean, yeah, piercing damage. And we start with a two block and now we have an extra card. Okay, very incremental. It seems like you are probably have very, very high stats in the later levels when you have like just on the first run start with already 20 blockers. So and the first level is going to be a joke. But then you have difficulty selection. So a different kind of approach, number crunching and so on. But sure. Um, yeah, overall, this game clearly is a very early demo and needs polishing in pretty much all aspects. But the core gameplay is, yeah, is very much fun. I like this. Very well done. Be absolutely beautiful art style. The music is nice as well. Sound design also needs some polish, but yeah, creepy deck. Pharaoh's Curse. Um, I mean, with my expertise, now we also skills unlock a uh, time plate. Just see, the time plate is <laughs> just like what. Not even half an hour, just 0.2 hours. We're so good. We're just beat running this game. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Creeping Deck. This has been so far my first impression so far. Please tell me what you think of Creeping Deck. Please tell me what you think of my presentation and commentary thereof. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Um, please consider sharing this video somewhere. Please stay awesome and we're going to see each other in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.